Why, hello everyone, and welcome. Aw, uh, I think I had intended, or I don't know if I intended, but I definitely considered uh, having, being like, hey everybody, welcome back. Roxy's in there getting looked over by the state medical examiner. They say she's gonna have a baby. Now why didn't I think of that? But then I didn't. And I'm mildly disappointed in myself. You guys will have to tell me if uh, the sound quality is any different because I switched up the room and I can't tell if it's my imagination or if it's more echoey. In which case I just need to, you know, fill some shit out. Not a problem. Just something I want to be aware of. Ah. So yeah. We're gonna, we're entering the fifth and final chapter of All the Bones of Summer. So I'm gonna bring up the actual game screen and we'll take it away. Cause I made everybody look different. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna barrel right the fuck into this. Dragons are oldest. <laughs> okay long before stone was ever stacked by meaning hands. That's pretty. In the undecided colors of cosmic dawn, they stirred. This music isn't really matching. From eggs in the earth, each in their season. There were five seasons then, so five dragons. Five seasons? What was the other season? Oh, Risa redeemed for hydrate, y'all hydrate. Uh, the dragon shaped all the land, mountain, hill, valley, coastline. By the way, I meant to ask, didn't I decide not to give him the head? Because I came back into the game and he had the head. I could have sworn I decided against it, but here we are. So this is where we're at now. Uh, first they were uh, nearly at play, absent any design or intention. Yeah, we did just have wings. It asked me and I was like, I don't want that. Sorry, I keep interrupting this entire opening spiel. But as they matured, they began to carve with great care and purpose. And they made all animals and people were among these. So were Draven. All things were more alike and felt closer kinship to in those early days. Keep getting... Sorry, I, I don't mean to distract again. I keep getting Bones of Summer stream notifications with farm time farm as the subject, which is a bit confusing. I keep thinking it's starting, what, what is, what, uh, sister? What's going on with that? Oh, you fell asleep, Fiona. sorry. Anyway, today's gonna be, uh, let's watch Ariana's attention span because um, I didn't take my ADD medicine until late. and so I'm a little all over the place. Um, okay, long generations after, long generations after, a dragon, Desmonder, sh shared his story with Yoan. Ewan, Ewan was the first human recorder of lore. It's through retellings of a first text since lost that the legend survives. I see a little person and they look naked. I don't know if it's true or if it's just another myth. Haha, <laughs> wilder myth. <laughs> if the dragon was honest, if Ewan was real. Hmm, sure. Can't trust most things we're told, but sounds like you tried hard learning all this. It's been dry work, lonely too. Digging up all his all this history, it it ends with there came a time when war was born between us. The first war. It's odd to imagine all the ages of this world before war happened. People painted the, people painted of them. You can feel all the dreaming that went into this. I think about, it's my own way too. Our way of investing love and wonder and mysteries. 
are we disappointed in our measured lives? I guess. You want to see something in the art? You want to see something in the art? Good God, this is so weirdly written. I'm sorry. I guess you want to see something in the art? You want to locate something specific and helpful. I don't know if it's there. Shaglissa? He finishing up his speech? Good stuff, right? We're about to, we're about to set to go. <laughs> Raid will be welcome. He's, he's gotten a little more grizzled, by the way. I decided. Just like... So we're clear. <laughs> He'll make our open roads into mud traps, though. My family in ancient days lived in wetlands, swamps, and the margins of today's maps. Those are the places we have to search. Look at his little boy. <laughs> it had been the hottest... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I need to go back to my uh, Pokemon announcer. Whatever. <laughs> It had, been the, it had been the hottest summer and fall anyone could remember, and winter was turning out much the same. Traven act activity had picked up along with borders, along wild borders, Jesus. Okay, I'm just going to read it. <laughs> and in the rougher, less warded territories, fires had sprouted from, as from wild-blown seeds, random and raging. This, this lady looks okay, though. She's like, hey, what's up? What's going on here? What is the story of this? <laughs> Early on, it had seemed like coincidence, but then refugees had begun pouring in, bearing the bones of relatives and boxes of half-burnt belongings, smoky tales of ruin still bitter on their tongues. Well, shit. So the company had met again to share what f five years had taught them. What? No, I got 15 years, bro. To reckon the demands of to reckon with the demands of the moment they were now in. With Ray's insisting on bringing them to the painted cave to see the spark if it sparked any inspiration. Janlop had narrated a passage from his family's tomes. Shoulder to shoulder she surely quivered, but she stared at mortality's proof. The summer king stooped, his cl Slashed body s slathering Odina. O Odina? We're gonna go with Odina. Yodina. Yodina. There we go. Yodina in burning blood, staunch. She said. And in burning blood, staunch. She stayed upright. And he is in his bitter. Battle pride struck. Guys, I can't fucking read. It's my secret shame. <sighs> I am sorry. <sighs> the weapon of Fenwalkers made her death decision easy. No blow would have felled him. With starry wet cheeks, she stood and let his wrath taste her bones. All the weight he wielded then turned on himself. Battle pride isn't a word. They do a lot of those. I am, like, love this game. Don't mistake my, my critiques for, like, absolute hatred or criticism. But, y'all, they just combine word after word. Specifically in this campaign, it's been, like, Canyon River. Like, that's not just a word. <laughs> and then it just, anyway. And it says they buried the weapon afterwards in a room, afterwards, in a room made, a sec made secret and secure, to be found again if the dragons, as was their boast, would indeed be reformed in a future age. So, and they didn't trust the location to their inheritors? Maybe there's a record somewhere. I couldn't find one. But it's so long ago, I doubt they knew what might, what might be, that our history would survive and be safe enough. Famous weapons draw warriors of all kinds. If they're used, they'll be misused or destroyed in time. Why did my computer make that noise? And I'm sure that doesn't fuck with dyslexia at all. Oh no, not in the slightest. And the font either. 
to say. We've heard enough accounts. Our dragon wants us to know where he is. Why does she keep, they, they keep referring to him as their dragon. Like they started at the end of the last chapter and I'm like, what's going on here? What, what are you guys saying? Are you guys like claiming ownership to this thing that you've just met briefly, attacked, and then ran away? Like, I, I, I think you guys are using this term a little loosely. Uh, if we find this weapon first, good. If we don't, we still need to deal with him. The Draven too. Oh my gosh, okay, that made things a little better. Sorry, apparently I had Twitch open on my <laughs> browser. Okay. Uh, there's always an argument for skipping legends and cutting straight to his throat. He will have grown much stronger in five years. 15, 15 years, and more wary. That is lovely. I hope they do take your challenge. I hope they hasten. May it cool your blood to blacken their skulls. <laughs> she looks so old now. Look at her. They grade her like a fucking dog. I, I love that they do this. They did, they did that for uh, Drev Snack. No, fuck. For Saul, there we go. <laughs> um, I, I love it. Be patient, Pyarch. Understand I am old as the world, or nearly so. Revenge to me is vast and slow, firm and full. I would not burn down the forest in order to quiet an unfavored crow. My kind are hardy and loyal, but not without needs. We shall need a place to grow. Even humanity needs a place, I think. Humans are not crows. They're a plague. A plague must be burned out in order for the place it thrived in. It thrived to be fit for life. Fit for life. Fit for us again. Goddamn. I was doing so well. You know that would be a nation, Kavan. If you would put design to lead us, our armies win your war. Avenge Versal by being who he hoped you would be. Someday, Pyark. I promise that someday I will. But in order for my mind to know solace, I must first hoard blood in quantity to answer the quality of what, of that which I lost. Yes, Kavan is a drama queen. It's not letting up. Uncommon heat has produced some unique weather. Woods are just, just down the next hill. Get that good canopy over us. We'll get a fire going. It's all right. My books are all in oil skin. <laughs> Smart boy. This rain will be one of a precious breed. Out there, a dragon raises towns and raises fire. Hey, hey, get it? Raises towns and raises fire, see? They sound alike. Homophone. I'm gonna have some of my coffee, hold on. I feel like that'll help. The final confrontation approaches and is up to Jan Lop, Shilissa, and the rest whether to seek. Why are they the first and foremost? Are they the most powerful right now? Maybe. Uh, and the rest, whether to seek a lost weapon in the wilds or to trust in their own gifts and go as soon as trails and the weather allow them to Summer Mountain. Shadows deepen. Okay, woo, you're 62. You get a lot of years out of these fucking uh, five chapter campaigns. I got 74 years out of one. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Okay, so there's one recruitment opportunity. Um, 
Is, is that the only one we got at this point? Yes. Okay. Okay. None of them are bards, right? I don't have any bards these days. No. Um, however, I will have... Uh, okay, okay, so let's just pair some people. Oh, Jesus, they're all so old! Sorry, wait, wait, let's just, let's just take a look at them. So we got Jan Lop is 55, Adina's 56, level 3, okay, so, no, so they're, okay, whatever. Dwalson, <laughs> hot heading now, sorry, 67. Uh, Ray's is 40. Shyla's is 36. Iverfl Iverlop, is that what I decided? Yeah. Iverlop Fenspear is 20. And Dweedra is 64. Whew. Okay. Um, and I'm going to send Iverlop. Well, in which case, I probably shouldn't send Shylissa. Sh Sh this is stupid. This is like nothing. So uh, there we go. I'm sending those three. And the rest are going to come here. And scout. Yeah, I don't care. You guys just get there how you can. Uh, I wonder if other people like stage it so that they can get together and like travel at the same time so that they don't get um, ambushed, <laughs> you know? Okay, so let's see. Poetical intellectual. I don't have any of those, right? Poetical intellectual. I I do. No, I need someone with a little more energy. Let's let's okay. I'm wanting somebody who brings a fire to this team because they're all you know. They've been at this for so long. It's dominated their lives. They need this young blood to come in and be like, oh right, this is why we fight. This kind of spirit. I'm getting real into this now. Romantic snark. <sighs> Compassionate goofball. Snarky peacemaker. I do love a snarky peacemaker. Yes, I'm going with snarky peacemaker. Um, she's into whatever. Emily Vasterden. Ooh, okay, I like it. Emily Vasterden. Um, okay. <laughs> this face always looks so stupid. <laughs> Um, I am such a fan of this newer face. I love it. It's so cute. Um, in fact, yeah, let's do, 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 do. Um, well, let me get your size first because I kind of want you to be taller than that. Yeah. Kind of got, you, you got some muscle. This is a farm gal, okay? She's a farm gal. Um, <laughs> actually, I like her color scheme. That's really cute. But I'm always a fan of warmer. <laughs> it's just, um, I just, I just, I like a warmer skin tone. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pretty. Okay, not in general. I just mean in this game. There's only so much I can do. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't even bother to look at her aspects. Uh, let's see. Distant, physical, proud. Okay, I don't want her to be distant, though. I want her... I love that I get to choose now. Did I ever tell you guys this? I get to choose. How about instead she is... A wild, she's wild hearted, um, physical and proud. Okay, yes, yes, I like this. 
Emily's parents died in succession when she was still very small. She learned grown-up ways at a young age. She worked at a manor, as a manor guard at one point in her life. She earned modest pay and developed a more realistic look on the divide between rich and poor. She craved fame. Uh, she craved fame. Adventuring seemed like the best way to get it. Why does she crave fame? Okay. That's weird. You know what? I don't have to go with that. Fucking, uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, right. Edit text is a button up here. Uh, how about she crave change? I'm gonna go with that. Adventuring seemed like the best way to get it. Don't we all crave fame? <laughs> Not in the slightest, personally. But... Emily, whatever you want, it's on me tonight. Just feeling generous, or... It's been a year now, to the day! And I was finally able to get up and walk home! I owe this leg and practically this whole year of my life to you. A few mugs of the good stuff is the least I can offer. Sorry. That was a year ago already? Emily, I want you to know that whatever you did to my arm, it's held up beautifully so far. Ha 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 I don't know, I don't understand this part. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, so, fill me in. What's the story here? I know he's not exactly old old, but I feel like as soon as he like got to his mid 40s, he was probably like, I'm, I'm gonna settle it. <laughs> uh, Draven were the story. I guess they were just after the grain that, they were just after the grain that time, and not the whole town. But there were still quite a few injuries, which got taken care of almost all thanks to Emily. Sure, but <sighs> you know what would be better though if it didn't, hadn't happened in the first place. <laughs> I may be able to do most good by helping to deal with the problem at its source. Come with us then. Hmm? You seem useful to have around anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. Warrior, hunter, mystic. I'm thinking mystic, since we... Our cup doth runneth over of pretty much... So I've got three of them, three of them. Only one of the mystics. But Shylissa also is able to interfuse. I'm going with mystic. Yep. She's gonna be a mystic. Okay, go. Grand Water Plains has been revealed. All right, patrol. Um, since it's already there. <laughs> oh. Um. And Dwigdra, I mean, right? Uh, okay, I don't know, this felt weird. <laughs> All right, let's go fight then. Sorry, lots of loud noises. They make their way carefully through the ruins of Kip, Kiplina, Kip, 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 Kipliana. We're gonna go with that, Kipliana workshop. <laughs> Every nerve alert. I keep thinking about harvest time. When I was a kid, I helped my parents thresh the wheat, you know? I hated it. You stand there with bundles spread out on the barn floor and you swing and the, you swing the flail over your head and drop and down on the wheat over and over again for hours. It took days, weeks, until the year the inventor of the threshing machine came to our town. It took eight adults to push the power wheel around and round and another two to load the wheat into the mouth of the separator. So it was still hard work. 
but the machines threshed the wheat five far, uh, five farms that what that day. In one day, it saved five families two weeks of back-breaking work. And all I could think was the thing they called the mouth of the separator. It did look like a mouth, a huge hungry mouth with teeth. Or it was a miracle. I think that they did think what we could do if we had more machines like that. Think how wonderfully the world could, how wonderful the world could be. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh shit! Right on, right on, okay. So you're saying if we found ourselves surrounded by, oh, wrong guy. So you're saying if we found ourselves surrounded by more foggy right now, you would need a moment to decide whether you wanted to study or destroy them? No, you idiot. I'd come running to your defense. No moment needed. I'd just try not to kill them all so I could study one later. Oh, shit. It's going down. Okay. I hear things scurrying in my ear and I don't like it. Oh, fuck you. I'm tired of these insane odds. That was rad though, I liked that. Oh yeah, I upgraded a bunch of shit, guys. Everybody's got cool shit. Look at Dweegdra's fucking sword here. Look at that goddamn sword. What did it get named? And it's fucking, I don't name them, they just, I do sometimes change the names though, but I usually cycle. What is it? Um. A red weaver. Ooh, okay. Damn, girl! Hit him again! You badass, Dweedra. Man, they are making this atmospheric as fuck. I love it. But, like, I don't love it because it's honestly a little bit scary as well. But, I love it. Um, oh, no, you know what? It was Brenla that was able to interfuse. Damn it. Um, cause I made, no, damn. Well, still, you got a fucking good shot. Could have, it could have worked. All right, we're just gonna stick in a group. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so let's, I'll give it a shot. All right, Dwalson, pulling your goddamn weight for once. Makes like no sound because she's so tiny. Okay, we'll go with open the door. Oh, fuck you. High on the sand, guardian, guardian of the sand. Kill that fuck. Dwalson, you are... I did give him a three-star uh, crossbow, so that may be part of it. Do you have another weapon? No, not really. Bam! Oh, no. Oh, no. Dwalson, buddy, you were doing so well. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't... That poor boy has had nothing but trouble. I mean, he's not a boy anymore, I guess. He's a man, but I've known him since he was a boy, basically.
damn straight. Um, and you know what? Come on over here, buddy. I don't trust you with that. I don't know what that dance was. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, ooh, what? Plus one base damage, scales twice as much. Oh, fuck yeah. That solves the whole problem. Um, let's start up in that so that I can make her like a fucking paladin. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I'm giving it to him. I feel like he just needs something. Whatever. I got some stuff out of there, you know. Myth Weaver. I like that. Uh, just given. Oh, you know what I'm realizing now? Definitely put the two uh, <laughs> Mystics on the same team. Whatever. It's fine. They'll switch up eventually. Like, honestly. Good. Excellent. Patrol now. Always strikes me how much there is to find, to know. Speed, let's see, 6.6, 5. I don't care, there's, <laughs> this is the last chapter. <laughs> 5.9, 5. Uh, okay, let's go with him then. We'll, we'll get this boy all fucking. Oh, wait. They are already doing that. I meant to have these people go over here and scout. Patrol. Winsome Marsh has been cleared of infestation. And now it's winsome again. Hmm? Here, dragon scale cipher. Number of stones in scale pattern. In a scale pattern. Hmm? My family, we preferred hiding things to locking them up. Devised ciphers that only made sense if you knew our family secrets. That seems like a decent way to lose things. Janlop kicks the grime and dirt away from the flagstones. Symbols on their surface are barely distinct. Lucky. They're still in place. The dragon scale cipher gives you directions. Oh, sorry, I thought this was a, this is definitely Janlob speaking. The dragon scale cipher gives you directions and distances. What are those symbols? A fire and there's a, a broccoli, a spear, a, f a spear, tree, flame, star, wolf. Okay. You think that's a wolf? First stone is east or west, depending on if it's in the, on the lower or upper line. You then ascribe directions on a clockwise compass rotation. Fine. And read them right, left to right. Five stones, so east, south, west, north, then east again. The symbols are, are there to mean a number of Standard paces to walk. You start by standing on the stones. You do. Or you do. <laughs> Janlop pulls his notes, jots the symbols down, and looks up their values. He, then he faces east from the cipher stones and begins walking. Fifteen? Sixteen? Where the directions take them, they dig until they hit a layer of transplanted peat, clearing the peat... <laughs> 
they find a fairly preserved trap door and a smooth stair, opening to a smooth stair. <sighs> Just remember what I said about booby traps. Cry out my name if you need to be sure, I'll, I'll come. Crawry. Oh no, this poor thing's gonna get eated. Lighting torches as they go. Janlop reads codes on the brackets to tell where the traps are laid. Emily, did you hear? Center of the room's a pit, I think. And duck under these banners. There's hidden bolts. Wait! <laughs> Your ancestors were pretty obviously nuts. This room should be clear. Still probably careful. Probably be careful, though. The central chamber has a high ceiling where shadows clamor away from the light. Oops. I did not read the second fucking paragraph. <laughs> the noise is trapped in the halls. The, the noise in the trapped halls had been close to soft. In, in here, voices echo and steps swell to rise to twice their number. This is cool looking. What we got here? This does remind you. This does remind you how ancient and mysterious the world is. We'll never see a hundredth of this of its buried places. I can just or should I open the book first? More light would be helpful. Uh-oh, what's going on here? The front half of the book can be read another time. It lingers in the morning fond at eight asides. Oh my god. It lingers on morning fond asides and recounts tales that only matter to the dead. Janlop skips to the end. Look at these people. They look great. Some of the spellings are strange, but the Yandic, Yandric is remarkably readable. Eodina, Yodina, that's right, that's what we went with. Yodina Bleak died then. He updates the stilted grammar as he reads. Died then in, and her bloodline died with her. The other friend walkers too, who all were heroes. They fell into death mist beside the dragons they slew. But, but him, him a friend walker. Huh? I mean, huh? They did? We bury here the Fen's Icker, the Drac Venom that killed our enemies. Along with it shall rest the Thorn of the Fens, Yodina's Spear. This is cool. By the loves and homes shall our heroes be interred. By their loves and homes shall our heroes be interred. I think of how the dragon's bodies became stone, how around them mountains all rose. At once, now, generations of war have been swallowed in earth. Some insist we carry on the traditions, but with the dragons dead, I feel the company, too, must dissolve. With time, and he, as he who was closest to Yodoma who slew the Summer King, of those surviving decks, calm down, you ghost. My words have weight, and I intend to use them for peace. Huh? What's going on here? Cheek, sire, sayak. I have decided that when I take a marriage name, I shall choose Fenspear to honor my friend and all our dead heroes. May they be remembered and not frown on me. Though I would not join them in the end, and do not lie among them now. Their legacy will be with us always. Prophetic words. My family weren't dragon slayers. We were just the people who buried them. Janlop, it's really a slight difference. <laughs> it's a huge difference. How long have we traded off our reputation? Our history is riddled with favors folks didn't defend said that to that legend, and it's a lie. I understand you feel tricked, but it's just... But I guess it's just not too surprising to me. History 
that that uh, history that a hundred people witnessed gets cloudy pretty quick. It's this kind of thing. The story takes on its own life. I wouldn't blame your ancestors. We all liked believing the dragon slayers lived on. Plus, it sounds like they did run with the true, uh, the Fenwalkers. They just maybe didn't finish the hunt, so to speak. The noise of mechanisms up unloading and the throaty grunt of a wounded, of, of a wounded drog comes to the danger fraught passages that lead there. <sighs> One wanders in and rears back seeing them. Then it turns and flees. Probably a group meant to keep an eye on us. If, if we see, let them escape, we might be showing our hand. We have to take care of them then. Fighting among all those traps, we'll need to be careful. When are we not careful? Frequently, you are frequently not careful. Dude, demons are looking different. <laughs> I mean... I feel like there's something else I should be able to get. not and let's just have you interfuse with that as well um because you know no, fire interfuse with the fire because i want this girl emily <laughs> i'm sorry i've got hair in my eye greater constrict that guy Who's like, bitch, I got magic too. Oh no, he got the spinning wheel. I wanted that. That's fine, he's right next to the fire, so I'll just burn the shit out of him. Oh shit! Triggered a booby trap. Yay! Now, fire slash. Oh, he's out of. Fuck! Fine. No. Fine. No. Fuck! <laughs> Done. Oh, yeah, she can get that again. only gets splinter blast really <sighs> whatever can you get there we go I'm like let's not get Jan locked just a thought just a crazy fucking thought which is better uh, eight eight okay they are the same but I like him having his defense so let's go with this Aw, look, they're lining up. Well, they are excited. Oh, uh, what? He doesn't have shoot through. Oh, I thought he did. Maybe. Cool. Coffee grounds. Good, go stand next to my fire, you dumb lizard. 
She has advanced infusion. It doesn't burn out. No. You would dare. Shoo the birdie. Let's hobble that guy. Oh, he blocked it, but he's no longer invincible, so hit him. <laughs> hit him real hard. Oh, I didn't realize he had fucking, oh well. Uh, eight versus nine. Okay, we are hitting people then. No, stop hitting my boy! Not that it's really doing much damage. Damn, that kid's a tank. I did give him a lot of uh, XP just to start. <laughs> Or, you know what? Oh. Okay, well, it might hit him, so I'm willing to take that. Yeah! Way to go, Edina, fucking. Oh, Emily's first kill. Look at that kid go. Cool, 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 cool. Just kill that thing. <laughs> nice. Woohoo! Did it within six turns. Go me. <laughs> Our girl's growing up. Uh, he seems like he would be wise. Barren sky above the barren mountain. Sorry. Barren sky above the barren mountain. Where they meet, a pair of fire-knowing hearts. Is One is freshly flaming, and one is like a charred log with little left on it to burn. Do you know anything about the afterlife? The Veld, we call it. A, gr a sky with green landings, so wherever our feet seek. We will all be winged, and the wind plenteous, and grazing. The moon will be bigger there. Turkeys will be large. <laughs> turkeys will be large. Yep, those large-ass turkeys in the big rock candy mountain. There will be nestings to be had wherever our bodies are heavy, and a long and fruitful war. The dead all rise at day's end and live again to feast and crow and boast and, be and bliss feel. No, that's not real. Or do you not believe it is? My beliefs are as good as your certainties, Pyarch. They truly do need to stop with their fucking word shit. You, you yes. <laughs> uh, now, speak practically. The birds come back and forth, but one has not come from Winsome Marsh. Do you know why? Why not from Winsome Marsh? They were sending birds before. I do not know, but it is early still to receive their hawk. There will be winter report, I'm sure. The only ones who'll hear him now are ghosts who can't harm us. Returning to the central room, the others follow. Sorry. <clears throat> the others follow Janlock. That book was saying something about that fen. More of that fen talk. It, w it was about the spear or some kind of poison? 
A thick layer of wax seals whatever sloshes in the kettle strong belly of the of this vessel, sorry. The spear blade is slid around the edge. Thorn and ichor. Hmm. But um but the point was that the spear isn't a real weapon. It's the uh this toxin. Drock venom. Why is it looking like that? Drock venom. <laughs> nice voice. Jan Lop stows the journal. Let's take them both. I'm sure our dragon won't be happy to see this spear again either. There's details about that Drack venom in this book. I can read more, but let's bury it. Let's be under the sky first and well hid. One would argue you're better hidden underground. But that's cool, man. You do you. Adina and Emily sway and teeter the large container by container away by its handles. If you hear me, ancestors, I don't know how I feel about you, but maybe I I'm willing to admit it just it happens. So we're all right. I don't think they were asking for your forgiveness, Janla. Oh! Don't know why. I, I don't know. Why did I drink so happily, sto the stories I was told? And why do I choke on the truth? I guess it's just something in me. Maybe we've all got it. The hope, the desire that we're special. Levering the, levering, levering the Venom's vessel up to the surface, they all leave that place with the knowledge that before the end, a final miracle will be asked of them. We'll be dragon slayers ourselves, maybe even by springtide. I know you'll make it, Adina. Thorn of the Fens. I mean, or should I give it to the new? Um, I'm giving it to the kid. Okay, secure. Um, I'm actually gonna take this as a moment to, wait, no, stay here. I'm gonna switch. I just, I want Shylissa to be part of this team, but I don't know how I wanna like switch it out. Ugh, whatever. Uh-oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh! What's happening? Kavan will burn your, burn your lands in, in summer. Oh my god, I didn't realize. Shit! Hold on, I need to send people to fucking put the fires out. I need more people! Uh, okay. One step at a time. We'll do this one step at a time. <sighs> the Warriors of the Grim Rose had been pointed towards a cluster of tents in a wooded refuge south of <sighs> Aincliff Dam. We were lucky to, s to have a day's notice that deepest were coming. Oops. <laughs> I was like, what's on Dwalton's face? Other than the, you know, Gemini. Uh, better have some tents and sacks of potatoes than just your nightshirt, at least. Rest a while. Anything we can do to improve your chances in a fight, more likely it is we get to go back. So they do. Pigs forage around the tree trunks. People take turns stirring a pot. Others chop logs singing woodsy songs. She looks like she's singing an evil song. Look at that face. Shyless is like, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about these people. <laughs> How do you like your potatoes? I don't care. He's going to be really old. I've decided. He just, he looks really good. He's just really old. Cooked? Cooked is great. <sighs> don't take this the wrong way, but everyone here is just so wholesome. Don't feel like you have to earn our favor. <laughs> We're here for the deepest either way. Funny you should mention it, actually. 
You should have seen Aincliffe Dam before all this happened. So much infighting. Standard family stuff about fences and fishing, fight, fishing rights, but day in, day out? You, you try not to take sides, and it only makes everyone angrier. I was ready to throw up my hands and leave them to chew on each other's bones. <laughs> I feel like Dwalson in that moment was going, are they cannibals? Um, but suddenly, everyone give everyone a common enemy, and it's striking how quickly they come together. You're saying you want us to leave you some deepest? <laughs> not necessary. I miss beds and walls and locked doors so much. You know what full-time job it is to keep these fat possums out of the food sacks? I'm not getting excited yet, though. I've seen Aincliffe Dam with my own eyes. Even from afar, you can see the ruin. It's as, it's as if anything built above ground is offensive to them, and they need to destroy it. Then scrap it. Hmm? Build a new water wheel. What better excuse to start over? And abandon what was? When a place is lived in, it grows a spirit of its own. We don't get to enjoy that these days, trekking around as we do. You heard Shane. It was squabble-stained anyway. Take advantage of the shakeup and build something better. Their discussion stretches through the afternoon, bringing arguments for both sides. But in the end, the people of Aincliffe Dam are convinced to... I always go with build a new one. So I'm going to try this this time. They listen to Dwalson. What's a storied history without stories, anyway? This is just one more for your collect for the collection. After some passable potatoes. Oh, looks like they're making eyes. <laughs> I know that it's just a, it, it's not a long shot, but you know, it looks like they're making eyes. I think Dwalson got some last night. Uh, Shame's talk turns to logistics. There's a gully up that way get to, that'll get you close. That's how I got the be my best glimpse of the, of the place. Fucking A. If a wild-footed oaf like me can use it and not be noticed, it should serve you even better. The gully guides them true deep enough. <gasps> oh, sorry. The gully guides, guides them true deep enough to mask their approach. Glad it hasn't rained lately. Dwalson sees it first. Shame wasn't exaggerating. Debris hides signs of life, but hollow calls ride in, the, in on the smoke. We'll save what we can. Never underestimate sentimental value, eh? This is rough, guys. Getting real dark in this, our story about Dragons, surprisingly. Like, did did you guys think this was gonna go to dragons? Because I'll be honest, I didn't. That was a uh, that was a surprise to me. Let me go there, and then let's have you do a silk step so you're invisible. Oh shit! There's a horn child over there. Uh, let's have you peek in there. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Um. Good job, kiddo. Or not kiddo, because you're not a you're a you're a grown ass woman. You're like 64, 65 now probably. Yay, okay. See, I hate the <laughs> I was gonna call him a mushroom daddy. Uh, I hate the mushroom daddies the most. Um <laughs> No, father fungus and uh, the merc mother. Well, but her children are always kids in our eyes. It's true. Although we did get her when she was already a grown ass woman, but we saw her uh, in the beginning of chapter two when, um... huh. I can't remember those two characters' names anymore. 
Frog Boy and um What the fuck? Why can't I remember? Fan favorite. Uh oh god damn it, really? I'm gonna get there. Hold on. Who am I talking about? What's their name? You guys, you know it. <sighs> Fuck, this is gonna drive me literally insane. <laughs> Ariana, I don't even know what day it is. Fair. Fair. I actually did have a uh, moment uh, earlier where I was like, what am I going in there to do? Because I had today off. And so it felt like Saturday. And so I was like, is it, is it podcast night? Did, did I forget to prep notes? Uh, yeah, let's have you back your girl up. I mean, not your girl, your girl. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that someone else was in a romantic relationship with you. I don't know. Oh, you missed. Because I had you use your stupid fucking sword arm. And it never fucking works. Fucking Dwalson. I will just always shit all over him. I will not stop. Can't. Won't stop. Can't stop. Let's have you come on over here. Doesn't matter where she went, she was never gonna like be able to do anything, so. Yeah, there we go. That's the good shit. I need water. Atta girl. Dweeg dread of the fucking rescue. Oh yeah, and uh, smash that little baby. <laughs> All right. God damn. Her stats have gotta be fucking insane. I haven't looked at them, so like, I don't know, but they have to be, right? Oh, all right, Dwalson. Okay. Making up for that crystal sword mistake. Uh, I think I decided I like him in just the link mail. I feel like there are very few, ooh, fuck. Fuck, that looks rad. Mmm. Makes her slower, but like, damn, that fucking completes the look. Look at all the purple for one thing. Fuck. All right, no, yeah, I'm going for it. That's my babe. Okay, um, people are eager to get, eager to get, eager to get, yeah, you do, you get, 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 you People are eager to get back to Aincliff Dam afterwards, even in its state, ruined state. How long do you think it'll hold, you'll be able to hold on to that social harmony? At least as long as it takes us to rebuild all this. Which may be quite a while. An old town banner is given to the warriors of the Grim Rose and thanks as they as they leave its residence to their work. That place is the center of their world. Strange to think about. No one remembers every cobblestone on the road he walks. But maybe Aincliff Dam will be forgotten a little more slowly. Village banner. Fuck. Ooh. Fuck. 
fuck, who gets this? Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck. I feel like it should probably go to Dwalson just because he suggested it. So like, I feel like fair, fairness wise, that, that absolutely belongs to him. Mush rocks. Hate them. I hate, I hate the deepest. I hate them. Plus they upset me. Like if we're being real here, they just upset me. Research site. <laughs> Let's just have ourselves a little party. Those people are doing their... Okay, that's why. Okay. Research complete. There we go. Three heartwoods. Well, that's worth every moment. Um... Mm, nah, I feel like that detracts from his, uh, his cape. Uh, no, no. Ooh. I... Don't dislike it, but I don't want her to have that. However, I feel like that adds a little bit of like, uh, like it's, oh no, oh shit, I just remembered the fires. Oh God, oh God, sorry. <laughs> I totally just remembered the fucking fires that we have to go extinguish. Okay. Um. All right, I'm sending Emily, Iverlop, and Shilissa, uh, and Ray's actually. Oh, gosh, sorry, I went out of this window. It was scary. Um, okay, let's just get rid of the drop. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll have two there, two there. They, that's not ideal, but I'd rather that. Oh, I mean, I was kind of hoping that like Emily and Shilissa would end up together, but that's cute. Oh, wait, can't really do that. Um, you know what, just scout these out. We'll clear them of infestation when we have uh, more of a team together. The youths are going, well, I don't know how old fucking Ray's is at this point. Janlop's episodes were nothing new, but they had been getting stronger lately and more numerous. It was only a few moments of twitching and pressure, a brief but desperate fight against something inside of himself. But the effort always left him exhausted and unable to focus. It's all right, Janlop. Keep it together. Ugh. Come on now. Come on, not now. That's what I meant. Enough! I have struggled inside your heart long enough. I must grudgingly admit your soul writhes with a passion that more than most, making it nearly impossible to get a grip on. Uh, what are you? What do you want? At this moment, what I am is fed up, and what I want is a deal that works for both of us. For us both, whatever. Give me a place to exist. Nothing much. An arm, a leg, an eye, perhaps, and I won't bother you anymore. I dare say it could turn out advantageous for us both. And if I refuse, I may not be able to take your soul, but I can make your life very difficult. Uh, I don't know. I've never done the transformation for this. It's only come up one other time. But I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm too curious not to. The entertainment of the idea just for, for just a second was enough. A force like billowing ar storm clouds unfolded and suddenly his gaze felt 
weightier, powerful, shared. The feeling was jarring. Okay, um, okay, um, this isn't so bad. My head feels a lot clearer, at least. <gasps> oh, crud. How am I going to explain this to the others? Hope Adina doesn't throw a fit over this. Well, I mean, you match her. Like, she's got stuff coming out of her. You guys both are touched with, uh, what's it? Um, they're old, they're old spirits in the, in the, in the yandering lands. Um, you guys would know if I'd bothered to play uh, Eluna and the Moth for you. But I was getting to it. I was building to that one, you guys. What are they called? Hell, what is that character I'm thinking of? Uh -huh. Warnick. Warnick is the name that I've been trying to remember. Warnick. <sighs> Warnick and Frog Boy. <laughs> because I don't remember what their kid's name was. Um, but I remember he had a frog face. No! Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bother. 21, 34, 21, 21, 27, 23, 21. Um, you know what? This kid's got like nothing. Ugh, I don't like the bear claw on her though. Although it kind of makes it feel like a matching set since she's with a, a what's his name? Iverlop. Um, okay, I want Janlop and Adina to come help them because that's way more important. Great, now go extinguish that one. Okay, <laughs> I was like, those are the right ones, right? <laughs> Oh God, no. <sighs> okay. Intercept. Let's do that first. Oh shit, this is gonna be rough. Uh, Cause I'm only going in with four of them. It'll give me, it'll give me villagers. It'll be fine. Uh, I'm going with the highest percentage because I only have four heroes going into this one. It's your 63. Oh damn. Excellent. Half of them are chasing fairies. Why did, I feel like he says that so often. <laughs> Adina's four. <laughs> I just love that Adina's in charge, okay? Look at these kids. I mean, they were kids. Look at my babies. They're all old, but they're my babies and I love them. Oh, I don't love this, however. Wait, why are we underground? <gasps> oh, okay, I thought I thought Adina accidentally hurt the baby. Uh, I was gonna lose my shit, okay. I do wanna see if I need any, um... Uh, let's see. Bow, ooh, I guess I could, because fucking... You don't have anything special, right? Just a regular old crossbow. Shit, shit, shit. This is scary, this is scary, this is scary, this is scary! <laughs> but it's fine, because I'm going to be giving him a way better... Oh, did I give him stone? No, that's just a regular old... Radical. Yeah. Cool. Fucking sweet. Um, oh my god, this is so scary. I hate everything about this. Okay. This is stressing me out. Oh my god, I should not have come in with so few people. I, I thought if I'm intercepting, it's supposed to give me more people. No, that's... Ariana, you are not correct. You are completely 
miss uh let's pin that fucker down uh Dweekdra, i would appreciate if you could toss a knife at that fellow toss a knife at that fellow oop you know what it's fine one more time Third one's the charm. I'm just gonna switch my shit around. Oh! Oh no! No, 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 no. Please don't, don't let Janlop die, please. I really don't let any of them die, but like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, my boy! Harvest. Janlop rakes a nearby foe with his shadowy claws. If he kills it, he consumes its soul to heal one HP for every shadow limb he has. You guys want to try this out? Ugh. Maybe I'll move first. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's have him fucking. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna go here, uh, and you're going to shoot at these bastards. Um, we'll we'll save that arm. That's but we're gonna. I'm not not doing it. I just want to. Um, Get them into a good bottlenecking position so that I can... Oh, they already have it. Fuck. Because hmm. these guys are in a fucking row. Love it when they do that. And... You... Can come... Here, I guess I don't. I don't really know what to do with you, Dweekdra. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess there's not really enough of them to bottleneck, but still, it's like if I can just okay. Um. I am ready for Janlop to use that arm now. <laughs> oh my god, there's so fucking many. Oh my fucking god. Okay, uh, first things first, shoo the bird. Next things next. Harvest some soul energy. Rude. No, motherfucker, you don't get to do that. All right, that's it. You all get a taste of the bitch pudding. Kill that fuck. Now she's untouchable. The next time somebody tries to hit her. Oh shit! Girl! You're... G get it! Damn! Dweetra is the badass from the fucking, like... <laughs> last half of the game. It's like, damn! All right, Janlop, can you use that arm again? <laughs> or no, do I have to wait? Is there a cooldown period? No, there's not a cooldown period. There is not a cooldown period. Okay, who do we want to fucking slap with this thing? Um, let's go over here. And I'm a, like, at the very least, we're trapping the score lord. Um, oh shit. Uh, let's kill that guy. Um, let's take the big hitter uh, down um, before anything else. So, ah, oh, fuck. Let's 
Stop hurting my babies. Remember how happy I was looking at them going into this fucking fight? Wouldn't it just suck if one of them died? I mean, it's obviously not going to be uh, uh, Edina. <laughs> Uh, and probably not fucking Janlop, because this, this fuck is like... Alright, everybody contribute. <laughs> We're just gonna, okay. Um, honestly, you're too heavy a hitter not to come over here and finish this dude. And you can get the last strike on him. Add to that fucking kill count. Because Jesus, Dweegdra is a fucking monster. Look at her just murdering fools. This bitch. Ariana, don't speak that into existence. I mean, oh, Janlop's not looking too great. <laughs> We're gonna be real here. So shoe that bird. <laughs> um, and then shoot. That fuck, yeah. Because that's what's gonna happen. Um, nope, no, no, no. We can bone launch that guy. And then Dweegdra, come on over, come on over, baby. And strike. Yay! They all survived! I got a shit ton of experience for that. <laughs> I think that's the max. I think 15 is just the max. Ooh, I love it. That's a good sword. Oh, who do I want to give that to? I feel like I should give it to... Oh. <gasps> oh, I love that idea. Okay, yep, yep, that is Emily's. Oh! That's how she protects herself. Do, 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 Oops. Sorry. The Draven are routed. What? The Draven are routed? I don't know what that means. Um, battles led them down a... Okay, so is it Draven are routed through life? It, battles led them down a boulderous roam where grass, gray grass matches the cloud color. Someone doing dragon pictures? <laughs> I can't get over his fucking... <laughs> He's the monarch! <laughs> Janlop is the monarch! <laughs> Someone doing pictures again? Dragon pictures again? <laughs> Damn it, I can't do a good monarch. It just, it just, I can like do Mioga and that's it. Uh, the doo -doo -doo. Hey, Dwalson, old Dwalson, the trail walker. You badly hurt? Hmm? So what's your favorite monster? This is such a weird fucking, so many of these comics are so weird. This is such a great game. Such weird little stories, but also so engaging. <laughs> oh, uh, probably something small and funny, like a Pyclops. <laughs> Gotta be a classic, like the Kraken. 800 arms and a wise-eyed face. Strength to move the continents. <laughs> Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. I don't think you do right now, buddy. A dragon, such a romantic figure. <laughs> really, that, su that it surprises me. Neither neither of you said it. Oh, drag such a romantic figure, really. That, is surprise that it surprises me. Neither of you said it. This is so weirdly written. Routed in a combat, s combat sense means driven off. Okay, I just... it seemed weird the way they had it, but thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ray Ray. Appreciate it. I guess I don't have much battle knowledge. That's actually 
not true. <laughs> I've written a lot of battle, so a lot of a lot of shit's gone into that. <laughs> Uh, I don't really care. This is outdated because we have dragon in the game now. <laughs> no, they can throw a net now. Ugh. Great. Oh. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, help this place. Rebuild their shit. Wish I knew why they came back here. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Now let's bring you guys on over here to patrol and then assault. Because, yeah. What's happening? Everybody hear that? Everybody hear that? Is it summer? No, it's not. It's winter. It's fine. I don't, I don't know what's being set on fire. But I can't see it, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Summer tide. Summer comes back and I'm heading down the mountain. You stay if you want. Oh, this one. Rothshay. Rothshay Tr Treadveer. Sounds like I'm here in time for the show. That right? Who's... Hey, that's the woman who made it all happen. Adina? I transcribed the page you wanted those years ago on fox clothes and a few pe few recipes I thought might find you might find interesting. Look at you all adventure worn. Seriously, guys, stop it. <laughs> at least they're putting dashes in for those ones, but like I'm not tired, just experienced, you know? Hey, we're here for the cleanup, the wild things. Heard they were under wolf, wolf flock, wolf flock saplings in the valley. We've heard the same things. People in the lowlands are getting driven out. Yeah, well, Adina, you remember my husband. He's jealous, I can tell. They fucked. Yeah. These two fucked. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Husband now, is it? The home smells like six kinds of sage. Roth, she asked for my hand if you believe it. Why wouldn't she believe it? <laughs> well, spruced up the place a bit since you were la last this way. Tom does good at uh, the digging and sawing and building and all. You're the apothecary Adina talks about? Runs in my family, you could say. Medicines for illnesses, treatments for pain, shrine, shrining unctions, and oils for other needs and uses. Plus, you know, general stuff, herbs and herb, herbal things. She has healing, she has healing, uh, what was I doing for him? She has healing skill, not just mixtures. You'll boast about it, I see. You'll boast about it, see. And all I'm saying is it's worth, it's worse than landslides nowadays. Little fight we're having? Who needs their senses knocked in? No, it's, we lost his sister to a landslide this time, of, this time last year. It was just foraging down the hill. The wind was high, rainy spring, you know. Hurts to talk about, I'm sure. It's not about my sister. The low villages need healing hands, supplies, but the crazed beasts run rampant. Just, it's just getting worse. And we're not capable of fighting them off. So I'm saying if they can, folks will climb up, up to us. We need to be stocked and ready. Well, that's a safe plan, Rothshay. You don't want to hide up here, do you? Oh, Adina, I can't stand it. What good healer asked the wounded to drag their nod on bodies to her door? I've got to go down there and help them. Adina, I'm seeing a couple ways we could go. I'm going to do a little extra recon, I guess. Janlock, you know these people too? I'll just be a little bit. I'm just not sure what magical power you think you wield. That'll keep you, that'll keep you safe. 
You're softer than me, dear, and I wouldn't like my chances. I need you too. How long will we listen to this? <laughs> you can hash it out if you have to. Another day, I'd be happy to play the audience. Well, it's not really your business either way. It's just, we've come to bury those poor mad beasts and we will. We'll make the lowlands safe. She serious? Adina's a mystic, a legend. I mean, we'll support you. We're not even militia trained. Aside from water and bandaging, we... Tomdo, stop. They're willing to do what's needed. No matter what it might cost them, we should follow their example. Hold on, your husband's right, Rothshe. We're fighters, you're apothecaries. Your hands ne will be needed. Don't waste them on our work. I'm just saying, so a risk w should be worthwhile. You need strength to swing an ax. Willingness to sacrifice is most often where strength is born, Tom Doe. I'm, I'm gonna go with, I, I always, I frequently go between the two, but I feel like she heard like that, you're softer in me comment. And she was like, mm -mm, this is my business. <laughs> My mother always told me that to treat any illness, one must be willing to suffer the same illness. This is like that to me. And what if it's me who suffers it? Rothshe, you're brave and I love that you're brave, but sometimes I think it's just because you don't understand what you could lose or who you could lose. And in my worst moments, I think you do understand. The apothecary's husband stalks out the back door. Tom, do I... I... Well, sorry, he's... My own feeling is something you... Something in you saying it's... That's not... That it's not enough. All you have here, you're still after something else. Take time. Figure it out. Be, but be mindful of your husband's heart. Okay. They've got like a friend married feel. These two, I love them. <laughs> they, they're like work husband and wife. They're just, ugh, they're good. I love, I love this, this relationship between them. Well, Adina, Janlop, go do what you came here to do and good luck. Your work will be celebrated and I, anyway, we'll be down to help with the recovery. We'll be right behind you. The apothecary hastily fills their needs and wants. Then Adina and Janlop leave to rejoin Dwalson and carry out their task. Interesting set of words you came up with. Just speaking from the heart, I guess. Yeah, well, it, it was well said, I think. They were great friends before, Rothshe and Tomdo. So, I hope they're alright when the battle's done. Plus 14 charisma. You do it. And two legacy points. Sorry. This is the most talking I've done all day because someone's been in a bed. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's, uh, should, is there a better way to hit this chain? No, that's the best way. Oh, it didn't hit that one. Boo. Oh yeah, right, she's got throwing knives. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. <laughs> she's got a badass, I mean, it's it's a sword, but it's definitely a fucking scimitar. Scrimtar, scimitar, I don't, I don't ever remember what those things are fucking called. Like, uh, I feel like it's a conspiracy that like the, p nobody can actually agree on what they're called and they're spelled different ways 
Maybe that's just the drugs hitting my brain. May por que no los dos? Por que no los dos? Um. Oh no! Shit! That wasn't what I should have done. So instead, uh, let's move you here. Uh, and interfuse with that. And now you're near them and you're protecting them because, well, you're not gonna be protecting Dweedra because she's moving now. So never mind, that was stupid. <laughs> never mind. Let's just get that big boy. Bye bye, Geist. Um, okay, there we go. I'm like, where is his crossbow? I feel like that should be Bo Burnham's, uh... Damn. Um, drag name. Fuck! I've been wasting my fucking shit. Boy, and there's a raccoon behind you. Because the raccoons, they'll, they'll, they'll snatch your eyeballs and like green grapes. That was an absolutely terrible gill. Gil Faison charmed, I'm sure. Um, yeah, just shoot that booger monster. <laughs> I secretly think of them as booger monsters. I'm not gonna lie. They absolutely look like something I would have, a, a monster that I would associate with boogers. Like, tell me I'm wrong. Please, I beg of you, tell me I am wrong. Oh, wait, I can disc him. Damn it, I can't disc him. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker. Uh, okay, so this fucker is, ooh, you know what? If I go here, I can use that creepy arm. Cool, his luck runneth out. Um, you come on over here and shoot that little guy. Nah, that's okay. That, you, you, know, you had like a good chance, but not great. <laughs> He had a better chance. Sorry, Dwalson, you went there for no reason. I. Okay, okay, all right, Janlop's just dealing it back. All right, that's it. I'm done with this shit. Stop hurting my friends. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Okay, I'm just gonna salvage this because everybody's got their max for everything, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Sorry, it's hurting my ears. I think it's because my ears aren't supposed to fit completely inside them, but I've got like, I have been told I have small ears. They're not like teeny tiny, but I have been told that they look like little apricots. <laughs> Oh, Betsy. <laughs> Everybody was so surprised when I came out. No, no, we weren't, honey. <laughs> it is oddly specific, but that's what she said. And actually he said it too. Kill the Draven, kill the Draven, kill the Draven. Merc mother, no. Oh my 
god. This is just horrible. Wait, they haven't been doing it? What? Oh. Oh no. Oh, were they repairing the fire? I don't understand. I'm confused. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So I had them wasting their fucking time there. Cool! Why don't you guys come here? It'll take a couple months, but hey, cool, cool. No big. And then I'll see how they fight together. It'll be fun. All right, who needs speed? Who needs speed? Who needs speed? Maybe. Yeah, why don't I give it to... Uh, let's go Dweegdra then. I didn't realize she was so slow. She does have a little tiny legs and she's the oldest of this group. Oh my God, she's the oldest. Because all of my old people fell off. Oh, that's nuts. 38, 24, 22. My babies, look at all my babies. This is a cute group. But it's like the world is so, I do love this. Okay, I'm sorry. One of my favorite things with the five uh, chapter campaigns is this world you build. It's, they do, a, I, I'm gonna go, I will never stop singing the praises of this game. I love this game because the inclusion of like your, the lineage joining, uh, the it, just the way things can be marred like this, I, you know, nothing can be built on it anymore because it got destroyed because I fucked up. And there are other, the other ones where like the tiles can be flooded and it's just like, you really feel a history with it. And good job game, really fucking good job. Cause I don't get this invested in my uh, Sims playthroughs. <laughs> like I get to the third generation, like meh quits. I get like, it, I usually get about 75 years out of my five chapter campaigns. And it's nice. Kavon will burn your lands in the summer. Sorry, I don't know why I kept zooming in for no fucking reason. Cool. Oh god, I just had them sitting there. Ugh. I hate myself. Okay. What? Mm -mm. No. You guys patrol. <laughs> I like how they went around instead of just going through that tile. Whatevs. Cleared of infestation. So let's see how y'all fight together. This will be fun. It's like a whole different generation. She's the oldest of, no wait, he's the oldest of this group, right? How old's Ray's? I'm sorry, I know I like just went through this. What is that noise? Fucking A, 43. Okay, yeah, he's the oldest of this group. Oh shit, <laughs> I didn't read it. <laughs> oh shit, not this one. Okay. <clears throat> I'll make the decision when I get there. They hike a mulchy hill above Tannerlink Glen, making their final approach. The trees, the, <laughs> I just read it like it was still the narration. The trees here actually look younger than the wider woods. Kind of odd. It's happening, isn't it? I've got a feeling like a, I'm shielding a candle from the wind and wishing only to go inside to sleep in my bed. Should I say something? Iverlop's heading, leading the way, and it's he who spots the warm glow ahead. Did it flicker to life just now? Or maybe it had only been hidden by trunks. Yeah, this is place is pretty removed. Draven have, have a reason for gathering here. 
they're not like me or you. Anyway, they'll we'll get a chance to find out. I can't read it, guys. Everyone ready? Seemed like a campfire up ahead. A lone traveler or a trick? Weapons out? Or no, this isn't a a gout of flame swirls amid the saber rocks, silent, bright, and smokeless. It's not a place to hang your kettle. Now, this is a true discovery. I wonder why it's not hot. Not hot? It's blistering. I feel it. Iverlop, are you okay? Do you hear stories? Or is that just my mind that hears them? Iverlop moves nearer to the spiraling inferno, apparently unscorched. Iverlop! I'm awake, is what I am. I, I remember. I remember one tall story. It's brief, it's for children. In early days, the sky's back was not so stiff. She bent and saw a handsome gray squirrel. Wait. Did I end up giving... No, I don't think so. She bent and saw a handsome gray squirrel who climbed through the top of the redwood. I'm just gonna keep going. Iverlop. You're getting really close. The squirrel, he chattered to her blithely. How he relished her stars and the autumn wind took comfort when she cast cl cloudy hair. He thanked her for letting the sun thread through it. The squirrel spoke without guile and it, could not be, and it couldn't be helped. The sky fell in love. So when she watched him plant his forests and watched the trees grow tall where he planted them, the sky thought to impress him by planting her own. A lightning arm she gently lowered, and a great tree of scarlet was born. But it was greedy tree. It grew and grew and grew so large it consumed the forest the squirrel had planted. And without time for a word, words took much longer to say in those days, it swallowed the squirrel's body too. Seeing the world suffer, she summoned from this cosmic ice a healing rain. It was the first rain, and afterwards she would often soak, in, soak the world in it, for fear it might burn up like that poor intrepid squirrel. That's the story I remember. And this place remembers. It's a piece of here. Something left behind. What's that mean? <laughs> It's just like, I can't handle this. My bird brain doesn't like this story and I don't like you acting weird. <laughs> Stories of fire, you don't hear them? They leap and lick my imagination. This altar once, people would gather and tell them, but they're dead now. Those people are dead. The flame somehow endures. Iverlop, come away. You should be burning. How are you not? Listen, I'm going to let it touch me. It's just a haunted altar on a faraway hill. You're not thinking straight. It welcomes me. I can take this fire. It's heat and memories in myself. What are we going to do, guys? I'm, I'm, okay, this is like the last decision of the night, so I'm leaving it up to the chat. You guys tell me. You've got like... 30 seconds. <coughs> My throat is hurting. This is good uh, thinking music. <laughs> Do it, says Dr. Ray Ray. If, if Dr. Ray Ray is the only one who speaks, then you know, that's just, that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. All right, I mean, I think it's been 30 seconds, so I'm going. <laughs> but Iverlop, no! He leans close and lets the fire climb his wrist. It's all right, I'll be all right. He stands unharmed as flames file up his arm, orderly as ants, but then, it's clearly a very good idea, yes. <laughs> Iverlop! 
A sudden mass of fire reads Iver Iverlop's body. His name is so hard to say. Just as it seems, the whirling flames will devour him. They retreat into the coals. Iverlop stumbles back a few steps. What in... Iverlop, here, my canteen's still full. Let me... No, no, keep your water. It's not painful. It's a boggling sight and a strange sensation, but... Actually, I feel almost... I don't know, I feel pretty good. Hot calls are answered by shrill keening among the trees not far off. Scree! Shree! <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. We're done. The hot calls are answered. Oh, duh. That's right. There. We can solve this later, I hope. I'm going to do the battle and then... Uh... Okay. What's your other weapon? Okay, right. Um... Well... Eight, nine. Oh shit, yeah, <laughs> you do it. Um, although getting into place will also. Motherfucker. Oh yeah, firearm. That's right. You better believe it. Okay. Y'all, why are we useless the first several turns? Always. <laughs> I fell into a burning cone of fire. I went down, down, down. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Is it worth it? <gasps> oh, hey, hey, oh. What do you think you're doing, buddy? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I might have let them all in a little too close. But that's okay. I hate that didn't kill him. <laughs> Come on. Let me do it. Uh, seven versus eight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, man. I've been playing with the wrong weapon. Noise. With that Fen Spear. Oh, hey. Stop it! Why, why are you going after my ladies? <gasps> and my baby? <laughs> oh, I hate you. No, get away from me. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not an enemy. I was like, oh, monster. It's like, whoa, way to fucking let your true color show, Shilissa. Oh, no. Oh, well, in for a penny. All right, wolf called, y'all. Can I do it without hurting her? No. <laughs> okay, but I can do that, so let's just do that. I should have left the tree to block the way, and I'm an idiot, and that's not your fault, Emily. We're gonna, we're gonna... We're gonna be real clear here. Uh, that was my fault. <laughs> Straight 
stronger when you're together. I am stronger than yesterday. Now. <laughs> My loneliness ain't killing me no more. I don't know that I'm singing the melody at all. <laughs> my babies all right that's it shoo the fucking bird smash that bug damn it what does that do <laughs> okay not not great um attack both my ladies stop it I just got rid of the bird before <sighs> fuck those birds I'm not gonna save you I'm still gonna kill your asses come on over use your fucking sword kiddo You got that one. I'm gonna. Oh, wait. Let's go save Shylissa. I mean, Emily is what I was trying to say. By straight up murking this fool. Come fuck this boy up. Oh, oh, right. I should have thought that through. I hadn't realized he was in, um, sidestep. <sighs> fuck. What? It should have died then. That's how this works. Fucking finally. Zealous leap, and then stab him. Fuck yeah. All right, good fight, team. She's now Blue Horn Warrior. Uh, wolf Call heroes also receive plus one damage on flanking attacks. Or I could let her wind walk. Oh, or broad, broad swipes. She needs it. Ooh, that's a nice dagger. Um, you know what? Whether she uses it or not, I'm gonna give it to Dweedra. Cause she's just a short, stabby fool. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the dust settles. The air smells acrid and burnt. If you control that thing, I hope. Hmm, Sarn? Yeah. Can I talk to you for a second, Iverlop? I'm sorry if it's intrusive, but I feel like we need to understand. All right, so I really did hear something, right? Whatever presence was there in the altar, the flames, it spoke in me more than to me, like the chorus of my primal ancestry. I heard them offer stories to the altar Kavan of the Summer, the Queen of the Embers, the Sun Thief and the Empire of Ashes, or softer stories like that little yarn about the sky and the Tree of Fire. I heard them, these flame keepers, people who drove their herds and built their shelters here, who poured out their mysteries by this altar 
they must have carved and basically it's an isolated stack of rare burning legends. My cataloging instinct tasks me with its care, even if my body becomes its shelf. You've already made the decision, so what can I say now? I'll say this, darling. Good luck getting into, getting led into libraries anymore. I don't want to be your reader either. I want to tell you, love. It's okay, I'll, I must be able to control it. I'll learn how and I'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Oh, yeah. You're not gonna tell me off, are you? Hmm? You've got better, you've got to do your own thing. I get that. She gets it. Oh good, terror birds are added. Kavon likes to snack on terror birds. <laughs> Okay, and that does it for the evening. Um, <laughs> I decided I wanted this. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's the stream for the night. Uh, join me tomorrow night when I'm hopefully less sleepy. I've been sleepy all day. I slept in until like nine, and yet I'm still sleepy. I mean, I went to bed at one, but still, this is my life. I'm a sleepy, sleepy bitch. So anyway, um, yep, come back tomorrow night and we will wrap this up. Whew, I'm really nervous, you guys, because I haven't finished this uh, campaign yet. I'm finishing it with you. I have purposefully stopped playing my other ones. I'm sure I've said this already, but I've purposefully stopped playing my other ones so I can experience it live. <laughs> that was so stupid. I'm going to bed. Bye.